Hello, everybody. As Chancellor of Cranfield University, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you all and to thank you so much for joining us on this special occasion. These are, of course, extraordinary circumstances across the world, and this is not the celebration we would have wished for. Nevertheless, today is still a very important milestone. Graduation marks a climax in the academic year and an occasion that brings the whole Cranfield community together. While we can't be together to celebrate in person, I hope you're able to watch this virtual ceremony with your family and your friends as you celebrate your success. I'm very honoured to be talking to you today as you move on as part of the worldwide Cranfield family. I recognise how hard you've had to work to complete your taught programmes of study and supervised research. Congratulations to every one of you. Cranfield's specialist postgraduate education and research is recognised around the world and our graduates go on to change the world. You will be one of these world changers. This pandemic has once again shone a light on how our community makes a difference. Despite being a small university, I'm proud that Cranfield's experts in design and engineering and science are working to develop the ventilators and tests needed so urgently by health professionals addressing the challenges of COVID-19. Community is at the very heart of Cranfield's culture. It is one of our values, and it is in these most difficult times that we really see the strength of our community through the way we support each other and those around us. So, graduates, as we celebrate your outstanding achievements, we also look to the opportunities which lie ahead. You will play a big role in building a better future as we emerge from this challenge. Congratulations again. May you and your family stay safe and above all, celebrate your well-deserved success. My sincere wishes for the future as a member of the worldwide Cranfield family. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Energy and Power um, graduation. I guess we're all a little bit further apart than we'd hoped for this one, huh? Um, that's a real shame. But I guess in these unprecedented times, we all have to adapt and, and we have to make unique arrangements. I know the staff within Energy and Power will miss physically catching up with you all today, um, but hopefully we'll get that, we'll get a chance down the line. Um, anyway, so before we get to the formalities, I would just like to say, well done, okay? You did it. Uh, taking a course at, or doing research at Cranfield is a tough task. We purposefully make the study level hard and the intensity level, well, well intense. Right? Not everyone can learn at the levels that we aspire to or handle the relentlessness of it all, but you all did. And you find yourself here today to be recognised for that effort. You should all feel rightly proud that you worked hard, you met the standards, you passed all of the tests. Uh, very well done to you all. I hope you all now have secured or are on the way to securing a job or a position as a result of your achievement that's both stimulating and interesting. Um, it's great to see and hear um, that you start on your path um, to exploit the potential that you displayed while you were here. Uh, the skills and the knowledge you gained while studying with us should stand you in great stead now and in the future. But remember also that you made, ready-made a network um, here that you can draw on and build on. That's just from your fellow graduates to previous Energy and Power alumni to all the staff here in my team. Don't forget to use that network. Work it hard. It's a powerful tool in your future careers. Right? Now, we got to know each and every one of you while you were with us, and we're always interested to know how you progress. So it'd be great if you could drop us a line every now and again, tell us how you're doing. And remember, just because you've left the immediate Cranfield day to day, our engagement and our investment in you doesn't end. Right? Feel free to call on my team and I and the resources we have available to us as you move forward in your careers. You've got a question on energy or on power or a deep technical issue, give us a call and we'll try and help. Right? Um, maybe a five minute call with us or an email might save you days of 
searching around the place. You know where we are. We'd be happy to help if we can. So to finish, keep in touch. Carry on working hard. Carry on doing great. And again, very, very well done to each and every one of you. You did good. Hello and congratulations fellow graduates and loved ones. Firstly, thank you all for taking the time today to celebrate Cranfield graduates' achievements. Thank you to all the staff here at Cranfield for supporting us to accomplish the next chapter in our life. And thank you to everyone watching for the love and the care you provided us, even though you may have been thousands of miles away. Support is a common word but hardly receives the recognition it deserves. Those who have completed the Cranfield team building exercise will remember the Lego Bridge Challenge. Without the strong support structure, the bridge was built in vain. We see examples of support at every turn. However, the significance of supporting structures is often overlooked. Support has been defined as giving encouragement to someone or something because you want him her or it to succeed. Reflecting on my time at Cranfield University, there have been too many moments to document where someone has given me or my group encouragement because they've wanted us to succeed. I was honored to co-present the Student Choice Awards 2019 and it was evident from the number of heartfelt nominations, the extent of the Cranfield University Support Network. From facilities, cleaning and catering staff, to the career service to name a few. Yet the support network is not limited to staff or our time at Cranfield. During the individual thesis, I remember our group sitting in the King's Norton Library, coffee fueled, typing furiously. Those days sitting next to one another, without even saying a word, were keeping each other going, knowing we were there for one another. We were the students, the interviewees, the questionnaire respondents, and the informal teachers. Without even realising, many people have supported my fellow graduates and I, and for that, we will say the biggest thank you. Thank you for listening to us, for attending our events, celebrating our victories, and reminding us of our importance when we felt like we were struggling. And in these times more than ever, Support is a fundamental word that should never be underestimated. I hope one day Cranfield University and its alumni will be able to call upon us to contribute further to the ever-growing Cranfield University family. Thank you and congratulations to everyone. I hope you and your families are safe and well. Cranfield has always adapted and moved with the times, and I'm delighted that we're able to host this online graduation event today. I'd like to start by congratulating you all, our graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of what you have achieved. Thank you to the staff of our university for the part they have played in supporting you. And I'd also like to thank our Chancellor for her exceptional support over the past decade. When I think back to my own personal experience when I gained my PhD, I remember looking to the future with a mixture of excitement, anticipation and trepidation. Wherever you are in your life journey, there will always be opportunities and challenges ahead. And it's how you respond to them which will mark you out. None of us have ever experienced a global pandemic like the current crisis. But Cranfield graduates are recognised across the world for their ingenuity and their impact you will be no different. In the words of Harry S. Truman, the former US president, progress occurs 
when courageous, skillful leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. I'd like to mark the achievements of two exceptional prize winners today. Congratulations to Xiaoming He, the King's Norton Medal winner, and to David Perez Sanchez, the Vice Chancellor's prize winner. As we celebrate all of your outstanding achievements, please remember you're not alone. You're part of an alumni community with influential groups around the world. You may have already experienced the power of that alumni network through a funded scholarship or a professional opportunity provided by one of our alumni. You should continue to derive support from that network in the years ahead. As you progress along whatever path you tread, please keep in touch with each other and with our Alumni and Development Office. Your stories and your successes shape Cranfield's global reputation. You are the greatest ambassadors for our university. Reflecting our origins as an Air Force base, the motto on our university coat of arms translates as, after clouds, light. I share that sense of optimism. 2021 is our university's 75th anniversary, and I hope as many as possible of you can return to campus next summer to celebrate in person. Until then, congratulations again on your achievements and my hopes and best wishes are with you all. We made a class of 2020. I want to say thank you to God, my family, my friends, my supervisor, Dr. Alina Bavi, and everybody I encountered on my journey in Cranfield. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cranfield University, for the opportunity to get my degree. And to my family, thank you so much for your support. Congratulations, class of 2019.
Sorry. I don't know sometime at Cranfield. Too bad COVID didn't allow us to get together. Anyway, happy graduation, everybody. I hope you all have fun. Thank you. My appreciation goes first to the Almighty God for making his master's program a reality to my supervisor, Dr. Alimin Ampras, my friends and families, my fellowship to the families of Odigo, Oyegoke, Adekai, and Doabari. Thank you. I'd like to thank my family and my friends and everybody else who supported me. It was a long journey and a lot of hard work, but I finally had my masters. Thank you. Turns to me, I'm completing my master's degree for the McCormick University. I want to say a big thank you to the staff of Cranfield University, my parents, my family my colleagues and my friends. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations to me. On this special year, I'd like to say a big thank you to God Almighty, my dad, my mom, my family members, my loved ones, the Cranford University, my supervisors, and everyone, congratulations. Thank you to everyone that played a part in my Cranford story. And a big congratulations to all my cosmates for their successful graduation.
Hi everyone, my name is Lana and I'd like to thank my family and all the people who supported me through my journey and tell the graduates, enjoy your day! You can dream it, you can do it. There is nothing can stop you from climbing the mountain if you take the necessary precaution and plan it very well. Congratulations for all of us. I'm more than thankful that I managed to complete uh, this journey. Thank you to my family and my girlfriend Elena who supported me during difficult times. Thank you, Grand Pale, for making our graduate ceremony digital at least. And miss you guys. Thanks to mom and dad for giving me this wonderful opportunity. See ya. Thank you, Grandfield, and to everyone at Sweep. It was a great experience. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Grandfield, Congratulations to all of my colleagues. Uh, thank you very much, my supervisors. Thank you, my loved ones, my family members, and to everyone that contributed to the success of this research. Thank you.
Well, thanks to God Almighty for a successful PD completion. My friends and siblings, PTDF Nigeria, my supervisors, Cranville family, my husband and children, God bless us all.